So uh, that many people are asking like uh, what type of questions they will be given or what are the model questions they will give in CTK examinations and luckily I found the two coding questions which I solved in my in CTK examinations and one is a pronic number a pronic number is a number which is a product of two consecutive integers that is the number in the form of 10 for example if we consider 6 6 is a pronic number because 2 and 3 are consecutive numbers and multiple of 2 and 3 is 6 similarly uh, one let's consider first five integers here 1 and 2 multiple is 2 so 2 is a pronic number similarly 2 and 3 uh, 6 is a product number and 3 and 4 12 is a product number and similarly 4 and 5 20 is a product number uh, for example if we consider this input we need to print all product numbers in it if we consider this number here 2 is a product number 6 is a product number 12 is a product number and 30 and 930 are the product numbers in it and this is the question this can be solved using a brute force approach and uh, I'll show you the code and this is the code I wrote on that day uh, first I'll read the input after reading the input I create an empty list and uh, I'll iterate each and every numerical value from 1 to 20 if any value uh, multiple of any consecutive value in the given string I'll append that to result list and I'll convert to string and I I printed the list uh, I'll show you how this works uh, I'll show you how it works first I read the input in our case the first input is our first input is 9301263 now uh, list is empty and i literate from 1 to 200 numbers and so on 200 if let's con come to first iteration a equal to i into i plus 1 initially i value is 1 1 into 2 nothing but 2 Whether this 2 in the input or not if a in input yes it's there here here so add it to the list result dot append of 2 so in memory of res is equal to 2 and similarly for the next iteration 2 and 3 will come in the next iteration 2 and 3 is 6 whether 6 in the list yes it is so we will append 6 and 6 will be in memory and similarly it will iterate uh, till 200 numbers and store the all resultant values and after completely storing the results it will come here I created this list to string because we need to append comma in between the values so that for integer we cannot uh, join the string so that I converted the integer string to string list and from that I used this join function to join the list and print the result that's it and this is the second question uh, this is special character length uh, and this is a, a very good question uh, first we need to rearrange the string based on the special characters in that string for example if the special character length is even we need to print the even number first odd number even or simultaneously and so on 
if the special character length is odd we need to print odd number even number odd even and simultaneously so on for example uh, let's consider this string here if we count the special character length 1 2 here 2 2 is an even number so first we need to print the even number here in this length 8 occurred first 8 is an even number so we printed even and odd similarly even odd and so on and this is a very good question and for this um, I will show you the code and this is the code first we will read the input and first I found that length of the string and will uh, for add for storing the even numerical values I created a list similarly for the odd values I created a list and for displaying the result I created a list uh, now I will start iterating the input link input uh, string if if the value is is all on means whether the character is is an alphabetic or numerical only it will return true if it's a special character it will return false <coughs> if if it is an alphanumeric uh, will come here and if it is a digit we need to know whether the digit is even or odd if it is an even digit uh, will append to even list if it is an odd digit will append to the odd list and uh, we will remove one by one if it is not a special character and after doing this all we will get the special character length and we will get the even values and odd values and if the special character length is odd I mean special character length is even we need to print even first and odd next uh, if it is an odd uh, odd length we need to print odd first and even next and uh, these values are stored in the result and we printed the result uh, now i'll show you how it works uh, i'll take my own input <coughs> for example uh, the input is like uh, dollar two one two Uh, here don't consider this this is a comment line so only consider input starts from here here ca special characters are two so our uh, so first i'll come here here the input will be the length of the string one two three four five six here length is six uh, and the initial is our empty line uh, it will give one by one value like in the first iteration percentage in the second iteration one two Nine, eight, and cap. First, we will get the percentage symbol. This is not a, a digit or a character, so it will return false. Uh, we will come for one. Uh, it is an numerical, so we will come here, and it is a uh, digit also, so we will come here, and we will convert this to integer because initially. Python takes everything as a string input, so we will convert it to integer. And after converting into integer, we need to know whether this value is an even value or odd value. If it is an even, add it to the even list. If it is an odd number, add to the odd list. And if we do uh, after adding, uh, if it is a character or a digit, we need to remove uh, a, a one value from it because we need to get the special character length so if we remove the characters and the digits only we will get the special character length so i removed one value and similarly it will uh, store the all even odd values uh, after completing till here the e in e list values will be 2 and 8 in the odd list 
will have values 1 and 9 and S3 value equal to 2 and 2 is an odd value even value. So, uh, 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 we can do instead of writing like uh, printing 0 to 100, uh, we can do other way but on that day I wrote like this so that I am displaying the show same code only uh, uh, till 100 if the i value is less than length here the length is 2 length is 2 if the value is length of 2 mean there is a value in it so we need to print the value and print the odd value and so on similarly for this uh, we will store the result in result append and after completing these two iterations uh, the result value will be 2 1 8 9 and I printed the list and after printing the output will be 2189 and that is it these are the two codes given on the day uh, if you have any doubts or you need any help during uh, regarding your examination uh, in the description there is a telegram group below uh, join in that group I will be there to help you and that's it and subscribe my channel for more updates.